Hey, do you guys ever go camping and wish you could have a way to bring your one wheel? Well, we brought the one wheel. You ever wish you had a way to charge it? Well, as you can see, it's charging. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a way that we found to charge our electronic devices while we're out camping. You can hear it's kind of rainy, thundery right now. So we're just gonna hunker down in our tent. Got my daughter there. Turn around, Maggie, say hi. Hi. This little box right here, weighing less than, uh, I think it's 16 pounds, is powering everything that's going on in here. From the movie that my daughter's watching, all the way to this one wheel. All right, let me tell you about how I'm charging my one wheel in this tent. This is called the EcoFlow River Pro, and it was sent to me by the folks at EcoFlow for me to test and see if this is something that can work with personal electric vehicles like the one wheel. This little portable power station has some pretty amazing features. Uh, from its 720 watt hour capacity, its ability to recharge from zero to 80% in under an hour, which is insane for, for batteries like this. Um, it has three AC outlets on the side. It's got plenty of USB outlets for you to charge your, your, uh, your phones, which I'm charging right now. Portable Bluetooth speaker. You can charge your laptops. So you can plug in the USB-C and now go into your computer. Directly into that USB-C, I get fast charging so I can keep blogging, keep editing videos for the YouTube channel. It's pretty amazing. Um, the folks at EcoFlow also sent me a 160 watt solar panel that I can use to charge this bad boy. Uh, in full sunlight, you should be able to charge from zero to full in four hours. That's also pretty amazing. Unfortunately, right now it's a little overcast raining, a little bit of thunder, and so we'll wait for that to clear up and then we'll show you how that feature works. You're probably wondering how many times this battery can charge a one wheel. The one wheel has a 324 watt hour capacity, so technically you should be able to get two full charges out of it, but let me double check. Hello. Hey, what's up Mario, Jimmy Chang. How's my favorite one wheel YouTuber doing? Jimmy, it's so good to hear from you. I'm still kicking. So quick question for you. I have a portable battery pack that has 720 watt hours. How many times can that be used to charge a one wheel XR or a one wheel pint? Well, the stock one wheel XR battery is about 324 watt hours, but what you need to account for is that if your portable battery is converting energy into AC for an outlet, and then your one wheel charger is a wall charger that also works with a plug into an outlet, you're actually converting energy twice, so you're gonna lose a bit of power there in those two conversions. So I'd probably say a battery like that is gonna charge the board overall probably about twice. Hey man, thanks for the info, appreciate it. All right, hey, we gotta do a video sometime together. Anytime, I think a collaboration would be great. I'll talk to you soon, Jimmy. Talk to you later, bye. Best case scenario, you can get two full charges out of this battery onto your one wheel XR, but obviously if you're uh, watching TV, if you're charging other devices, that's not gonna be the case. The nice thing about this though is it is expandable. You can buy a separate battery pack so that you can double the amount of capacity. Um, you're able to charge this so quickly, 80, zero to 80% in less than an hour, you can charge this battery pack. You can also buy the solar panels, which you can fully charge in um, you know, four hours, you're able to get a zero to full charge. some pretty good sun. I'm gonna plug in the one wheel, see how much that draws off. All right, so let me show you how this is working. I've got the solar panel here charging the river flow at about 100 watts. Depends on how much sun we're getting, but right now we're getting about 100 watts of power. And then I've got the one wheel plugged into this taking off about 190 watts of power. Some of the benefits of this EcoFlow over some say like the gas generator. Gas generator is big, it's bulky, but with this, there are no fumes. There's this quiet fan that you can kind of hear. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me just show you around here. We have a 78% charge. That's what this tells us. Right now it's taking in zero watts 
That's because I don't have it plugged in and charging and because I don't have it attached to the solar panels right now. This bottom number here is the number of watts that are actually being used at this moment. 258, that's the one wheel drawing it. That's the TV, that's some of these other devices, my phone, Bluetooth speaker. And at this rate, it calculates I have about two hours of charge time. Now, if I were to take off some of these devices, here we have our three AC outlets. I'm gonna unplug, I think this is the one wheel, hopefully it's not the TV. Good, TV's still going. I unplugged the one wheel and you can see the watts that are being drawn has dropped significantly down to about 45. The one wheel itself is no longer charging. And now at this rate, if I was just plugging my phone, Bluetooth speaker and TV, I could run for about 10, 11 hours. A couple things does come with a light, so if you are taking it camping or if you're using it in emergency situations, you have this light here over on this side. So if you open this, you can see how we charge this unit itself, a wall outlet, a solar panel. I love that it charges crazy fast. Zero to 80% in an hour, that's unheard of. The unit itself is very solid, feels very rugged, very durable. Um, you know, it's, it does feel cheap in any way. I love that at the same time it's portable, right? It's uh, under 16 pounds. It has every charging port that I'll ever need. It offers me power on the go to charge my devices, but the TV, the one wheel. It has the option for an expandable battery pack and I can charge it using solar power. The app itself is actually very helpful. Remotely, you can check on the device to see how it's doing. By using something called X-Boost, something within this device, you're able to boost up the amount of watts you can draw off of it. Meaning, uh, normally you can only draw 600 watts off of this, but if you wanted, you can go up to 1800 watts. It only works that way on certain devices, kind of kitchen essential devices, like a, like a hot pan, like an electric stove, a hair dryer, a water heater, those kind of things. Uh, but pretty amazing that you can boost it up from 600 to 1800 watts availability. The display is very informative. And so those are the things that I like about it. The things that I feel like could be improved, the screen, like you saw, it has a glare, so sometimes it's hard to read. And then in bright, direct light, it's you can't see what's going on. Other than that, uh, I don't really don't have any other complaints. I would recommend this for anyone that's on the go, loves adventure. If you need portable juice for your adventure needs, then the EcoFlow River Pro is the charging device for you. You know, there's something invigorating about going camping, getting away from uh, the hustle and bustle of life, the texts, the messages, the calls. Oh wait, what's that? If you guys have a power, blah, 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 blah. if you guys have a portable power solution that you guys love, let me hear about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and remember, when you guys ride, wear your safety gear.